Fallen Heroes Day is held annually on the first Friday in May. It's an opportunity for the public to show appreciation for those who risk their lives to protect us. Bagpipes set the tone on this Fallen Heroes Day. The sound of rolling thunder served as a reminder. Their fallen Conrad's spirit is still with us. There are now 217 names on the memorial, including the 11 added Friday. Among those names, Corrections Officer Gregory Collins. The end of his watch, June 4, 2001. As he left the Eastern Correctional Grounds, a former inmate shot him. His murder remained unsolved until 2019. Heroism is about doing something that others are not willing to do. Heroism is about going to work every day without the guarantee that you were going to make it home. The men and women that we honor today, they define heroism in every beautiful sense of that word. True heroes of the highest order. Police, fire, EMS crews were all well represented. Family members of those who died filled the huge ceremonial tent. Debbie Sorrells, the mother of slain Baltimore County officer Amy Caprio, provided the family memorial address. A dragonfly appeared here at Delaney Valley during Amy's funeral and was witnessed not only by me, but by others as well. The book describes an amazing little girl who grew into an incredible woman who dedicated her life to helping others. The dragonfly has appeared at the most uncanny yet appropriate times as if Amy is watching, directing, protecting, and reassuring. When I see a dragonfly, to me, it's a visual reminder that Amy is still here with us. I can smile and feel safe and comforted by that small visual reminder. Speakers asked everyone to reflect on the meaning of this day with words such as respect, honor, and remember. We honor them as we think of how they lived and the price they paid. We today make the solemn promise to never forget them. Time will never dim the glory of their deeds. Governor Moore laid a wreath joined by family members of Baltimore County EMT Jay Lanzi and Wicomico County Sheriff's Deputy A. Holler. Taps and a 21-gun salute closed the ceremony. Reporting from Timonium, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.